Today we're going to review Joe Clark's Manny manual squeegee blade. Now this squeegee blade has a special hinge to it that allows you to either use the beveled edge to apply more ink and release more pressure on the hinge or use the sharp edge with higher meshes for simulated process. But these, this blade also allows you, if you refer to some of our Smiling Jack videos, to print with a much more straight up and down angle, exert less pressure as you're pulling or pushing the squeegee, and get a much better print overall. Now this one doesn't have a smile in it as the Smiling Jack and the Dr. J as you notice. It's straight because with a manual printer, most images are typically in the sweet spot of the screen anyway, not pushing towards the edge of the screen, so we don't need that smile, at that smile bevel in the blade. But if we are going to be using a bigger image, which we'll also demo, you can absolutely use the Smiling Jack and the Dr. J in a manual squeegee holder. So these blades actually are going to come in with blade alone, also be available in a wood handle, which will be more affordable. And you can also use the ErgoForce squeegee hand, which is a really nice adjustable handle. Also has some catch rods that keep the squeegee from falling in the screen and whatnot. So available in wood or available in the uh, ErgoForce handle. We're going to be demoing it in the ErgoForce to kind of show the differences. Now we have a screen here. This is a Newman screen. And we actually have this stretched to about 32 Newtons. It does have the rounded Hi-Fi emulsion, but it's just standard one-on-one -on -one coat but the hi-fi is a thicker emulsion, so we have a, a nice stencil on this. Not super thick, but nice stencil. This is a 110 mesh screen. And we're going to be showing us printing this 110 mesh through using a standard squeegee, and then also using a standard squeegee with the ErgoForce handle, which does get, allow us to put a little bit more pressure down. And then we're going to switch over to the Manny squeegee and really show how much easier this squeegee is to print with. Now Manny is a 75 durometer blade that is constructed out of a very high quality polyurethane. Most standard squeegee blades are about 70 durometer, so this blade will last longer because of the quality of the urethane that is used and because it's a thicker durometer. So let's actually get on press and prove the point comparing it with the standard squeegee and then using the Manny. We're going to be using the round at white, which is an opaque but creamy white ink. And typically, no matter what ink you're using, you want to modulate the ink before you actually put it on press. So that means stirring it up. Now with a small quantity of ink like this, it's fairly easy to do manually with a stir stick. However, if you're using gallons or something like that, definitely get a paint you know, mixing drill or something like that that allows you to really modulate the ink up for a fair amount of time before it actually goes on press. So with each one of these prints, I'm going to flood up and then I'm going to do one print stroke. So we'll do, we're going to be pulling this. We'll flood up and then I'm going to do one print stroke down. And typically with a manual blade, you do need to put a little bit of an angle on that, obviously, to make sure the ink's clearing and shearing off. But if you, you can't push too hard either, because it will, you know, you'll lose the angle of your blade. And I'm putting a pretty good amount of pressure down there as I'm printing that. So there's with our manual blade. And it's round and white, we get pretty good results. But I laid a good base down, but it's not super opaque by any stretch of the imagination. If I would have pulled another pass, could have been, but that's just, we're doing it all with one pass. What we'll be doing with Manny is we're going to be using the sharp side to flood, so we're going to be pushing the flood back, and then we're going to be using the bevel side to print with. So we're going to put, it's actually, if you see it in the blade here, it's exactly like this in the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to flood back, and we, I can actually let my squeegee move a little bit. And in class, I actually tell people not to do this, but it, it's, man, it makes it flooding so much easier because you just flood it right in. Then I'm going to, when I print, I'm going to test this out a couple times. Now, if you get on press and you see, if you just get on and you're going to do what you normally do by lowering your angle, watch what happens. Because of that beveled edge, you're actually not releasing ink. So we do need to run this fairly straight up and down. Now, I'm going to lower it to about a five degree angle. And I'm going to test that to make sure I'm clearing the ink behind it. And as you can see right now, I'm actually doing that. And as I play with my different angles, there does come a point where I stop to do that. So I want to make sure I'm playing with my angle. I'm getting a five degree right there. And I'm just going to continue this print all the way through. That's impressive. That really is. That is amazing. So let's, let's compare and contrast. Now, as you saw, I just flooded that once. And well, I did it twice, but I really did it to show you the flood, and then printed that with you know about a five degree angle, and we got a phenomenal result. So we have two prints here. This was done with a standard 70 drummer blade, flood, and then pull print using a, quite a bit of pressure there. And then we have our second print, which was done with the Manny blade, 
a flood back, definitely using in a good consistent format, and then a print up using about half the pressure, straight up and down, well, about a five degree angle here. And as you can see, this is at least twice as not only thick, but bright on this shirt. Still nice and smooth. It's actually smoother than this one with less ink on it because this actually, as it printed, matted down the fibers of the shirt better. So we have um, better print. We have continued uh, crisp image, meaning that we did not over flood or over penetrate the mesh with ink and we did not lose the edge of the squeegee braid. That's what allowed us to retain the detail, but we have, uh, we don't need to flash it. And this is through a pretty, it's a decent screen, but it's not a thick, not super thick stencil. So as you can see, that Manning blade really speeds things up with less work. And this was definitely a sellable print in less than half the time without a flash. So it's pretty incredible on what you can do by using the right tools.